Hi everyone, before we get started with this video tutorial, I do want to let you know that I've created a companion video tutorial and it's entitled Create Facebook Application for Simple Facebook Connect Plugin. Now, I may change the name of that slightly in the coming months, but that should be enough of a, a start for you to be able to search out that video. Now, in that video, you're going to create a Facebook application that's going to give you a string of numbers called Application ID, another string of numbers called application secret and application key and you'll need that to enter that information in order to complete this video tutorial now if you already have a Facebook fan page you might not need to create that Facebook application which I showed you how to do in the other video watch this video and then make your own decision hi everyone this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com and I am right now on my active blog Jupiter Jim's marketing team you can see the URL right up there and what I'm going to do in this video tutorial is teach you how to add to every post in your blog a Facebook share button and that's going to look a lot like this tweet meme retweet button you see right here but instead of being green of course it's going to be blue okay let's get started first thing I'm going to do is click on this tab in my browser which will bring me to the dashboard of my Jupiter Gyms marketing team blog where I've already logged in. I'm going to scroll down and we get to plugins and I'm going to click on add new. Right here I'm going to type in SFC click there I like to click in the gray area to deselect. That's just my personal choice. But after you type in SFC, which stands for Simple Facebook Connect, just click Search Plugins. And you're going to get end up with a list of plugins that have to do with uh, Facebook. Now, the one on top, Simple Facebook Connect, is the one you want. We're dealing at this time with version 0.21. But to make sure you're downloading and installing the correct version, just scoot on down over here and make sure that the plugin that you're going to install is created by auto. If you do that and it's a version 0.21 or a little later, you should be okay. Okay, so after we've found the correct plugin, we're going to scoot on to the right. We're going to click Install. And you get this pop-up window that gives you a little information about the, the plugin. Now, the key things that you want to look at in this case are the required version. Here it says, you can see right there, requires WordPress version 2.9.1 or higher. Now, the version that I'm using in my blog is 2.9.2. .2, so it is higher than that, and it should be fine. This will be compatible up to version WordPress right here 3.0 it's been downloaded 123 almost 124,000 times the rating based on 73 ratings is four out of five stars which is pretty darn good so I'm going to install that now just click on the install button and that brings us to this page here and if you read through these steps you'll see that it's installing and successfully installed the plugin we do still need to activate it now, when I click on this Activate Plugin link right here, you're going to end up with a blank page with one line of some semi-cryptic text. So here I go. It says, the base SFC plugin must be activated before this plugin will run. What to do? Just go up here, click the back button. Don't panic. And we're going to click Return to Plugin Installer we're going to scroll down to plugins now we've already installed the plugins so we can click on installed plugins here and here's the tricky part and this is the this is a good reason for you to be watching this video instead of figuring it out yourself now before I move on I'd like to point out every plugin that begins with SFC is a simple Facebook Connect plugin created by Auto about a dozen plugins were actually downloaded and installed when you downloaded and installed that one plugin, the simple 
Facebook Connect plugin. So that's unusual. That does not usually happen. But we downloaded and installed one plugin, and we ended up with about a dozen. Such a deal. Now we're looking for this. This is what we're looking for right here. Simple Facebook Connect base by auto. This is the first one that we've got to activate if any of these things are going to work, if any of the related plugins are going to work. Okay, now that we've activated that, I can scroll down, go to settings, it's a little down arrow there, and then you will see simple Facebook Connect. So just click there one time, and the, it says Facebook doesn't like your settings, it says invalid API key. I'm just going to delete that. That's because I was playing around with this before so that I would know how to properly create this video tutorial for you. Okay, so it's now looking for a Facebook API key. Let me go down here. I'm going to save changes. And what you're looking at here, let me go repeat the process. You're going to go to settings click Simple Facebook Connect, and this is what your page will look like. It will say in the pink at the top, Simple Facebook Connect needs configuration information on its settings page. If you click here, you're already at the settings page, so nothing's going to change. So I clicked on that, and just make sure it says Simple Facebook Connect like you see up here. You've got main settings. It says can't find your key. Get a list of your applications from here and click on this link. Now, in a previous video entitled Create Facebook Application, I showed you how to create your Facebook application. So hopefully you did that. And if you did, all you need to do at this point is just click on your Facebook application list. When you do, it's going to bring you to your application which I created in another video. Now the key information that we need is all this stuff right here, application ID, API key, and application secret. So the first thing I'm going to do is just double click. You can click and drag. I like to just double click to highlight everything. You can right click to copy or as you can see right there just press control C. I'm going to click copy for this one time. Now I'm going to click on this tab to get back to my admin panel in my blog. Let's scroll up so you can still see I'm in Jupiter Gym's marketing team. I'm going to scroll down and click in here. You get that little gold outline lets you know you're in the right place. And then for this first one, I'm just going to right click and paste. Now to the right, it gives you the shortcut keys, Control V. So I'm just going to click paste. And then I'm going to deselect to get rid of that gold bar or gold line outlining that section. Now I'm going to go back up here to this tab. I'm at my Facebook application and I'm going to double click where it says application secret. Now this time I'm just going to press the control C key because I'm in a Windows machine. If you're in a Mac just press command C and that will copy everything you just highlighted. Click on this tab Back here, Facebook application secret. I'm going to press Control V, and then I'm going to click in the gray area to deselect. And the last thing I need to do is the Facebook application. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to click back here and make sure I did the right thing. Yeah. I want to make sure it's easy to get confused that you're not copying and pasting the right thing. So under application ID, Control C to copy click here, go back into the admin panel of my Jupiter Gyms marketing team blog, click here, get the gold outline, control V to paste or command V on a Mac, and that's it. Now, you have an option that says Facebook fan page. If you have a Facebook fan page, you should read this. You should read these paragraphs but only if you've created a fan page a long time ago and you have a thousand followers or several hundred followers, then you may want to put the ID for that fan page right in here. That's your choice. I did not already have a fan page 
And if you just created, just followed my last video entitled Create Facebook Application, in the process of watching that video and following that video, you just created your fan page on Facebook and you don't have a following, so you'd put the information up here where it says API key, application secret, application ID, you wouldn't be messing around with this section down here, okay? So now that I've clarified that, I'm going to save my changes. Okay, it says up here, setting saved, that's a good thing. I'm going to scroll down and you can see this is all we have on this page. So I'm going to go back to plugins installed and we're at the final stretch now. I'm going to scroll down SFC and we're looking for the, you have a lot of different options and plugins related to this that you could activate. I'm looking for the one that says share button right there. I'm going to click activate. Now after you do that, you need to go back down to settings, right here where it says settings, and then go down to simple Facebook Connect, click there, and we've been here before, this should be familiar, but we're going to scroll down again, and now you can see it says share button settings, and this is all there is to it, you just play around with these settings a little bit. I want to put the this button down here, I want to put it before the contents of my post. So I'm going to click the button that says before the content of your post. Very simple. And down here, what button type? I actually like this button, box count, but there are different types. You can have button count. You can just have a button. You can have a icon and link. Whatever you prefer. I'm going to go with the box count for now. That's kind of big. But also, please note down here where it says counts will not show up until they reach at least three. This is a Facebook limitation on the share button. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to click save, save changes. We're almost all done. I'm going to mouse up over the name in the upper left hand corner, right click, and then I get this pop-up window. And before I click here, I just want to let you know if you're on a Mac, you're going to press down the control key and then click on Jupiter Gym's marketing team or the name of your blog. And then you'll get this drop down menu. Once you've got the drop down menu, click on open link in new tab. And if all is right with the world, we should have that Facebook share button on the top left hand corner of every post. Let's start praying. And there it is. And we didn't have, we don't have three people clicking here yet. And that's why you don't have the number up here that says one, two, three, or four people. Let's scroll down. And you can see now that share button is on every single post. Let me go back for a second, scroll down the settings page, and that's the box count. Let's just change it to, let me see, icon and link just so you can see that you do have some choices here and you do have some control. Go back to the blog. I'm going to click on this tab. Click Refresh or Reload because I'm in a Google Chrome browser. Or you can just hit the F5 key. And there you go. You can see you end up with this Share button. Now, the point of this Share button, by the way, I didn't really make that clear, is if you click on this, if somebody visits my blog and clicks on that link that I just showed you, it's going to end up sharing a link and a little excerpt of about my blog post on their Facebook wall. So if a hundred people visit and read this blog and click on this Facebook share button right here, then a thousand people or a hundred people will end up sharing my blog post on their Facebook wall. And that, of course, will also end up into the news feed on Facebook. So it's a wonderful thing. And they also have the option of typing in whatever they want right here. You've got to check out this blog post. There you go. And, of course, your picture will be the one, or the visitor to my blog post is the picture that will be up here in the left-hand corner, of course, not, not my picture. And then click Share, 
and it's going to end up being shared on my Facebook wall. You can share it on your own Facebook wall, but that's not where the real power is. The real power, of course, is other people visiting your blog post, reading it, and sharing it on their Facebook wall. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.